When drawing blood, you're going to want to use an 18 gauge at least, if you can, okay? Because it allows you to, sometimes drawing blood back through an angiocath can be a little bit difficult. I can easily use an 18 gauge uh, needle right there. Make this nice, nice little skin wheel there. I'm just going to do an IV. So good traction in both directions. My needle is 100% parallel. I'm holding the angiocath correctly. So I'm just going to go in. I've now hit his vein. And I've advanced the needle. So there's my angiocath. Now this is where it's a little bit different. Now you just attach a syringe. Okay. And now you just aspirate, okay? So if you pull back too fast, it'll actually suction the vein flat. Okay, so if you're having problems getting blood back, go ahead and just try to aspirate a little slower. Sometimes you can move the angiocath backwards and forwards, but this is a big enough vein to where I don't need to do that. So when I get the amount of blood that I need, now I can take the tourniquet off. Okay. Okay. So see, that's where the gauze is for. And I set this syringe off to the side. Now I can hook up my saline lock, okay? There, now I was able to do that with zero mess, okay? Put this off to the side. Now I can put my Tegaderm on. And I got, kind of got to be quick with this because I don't want that blood to clot in that syringe. So now that I've got my blood sample here, I'm going to go ahead and put a needle on. Be careful not to stick myself, and there we go. We now have a sample for labs, and we have our IV that I'm going to be able to secure in.